Hi, today we are discussing pillows. What is great about pillows? How do they interact in your space in your home? And how do we use them appropriately? And what size works for the space you have? So with pillows, they're one of my favorite design elements in a room. They take a real lonely, lackluster space and they make it impactful, creative. You bring your personality into the space with pillows and it also brings some color and texture. First thing I'd like to talk about with pillows is what size do we use? Where do we start? So most pillows come in a size 18, 20, or 22. Typically, most of your standard size pillows are the 18. You see them on beds, accent chairs, and sofas. With the 22s, they are your larger size pillow, and what they're used for is a backup pillow. They're a nice lumbar pillow. They're a comfortable pillow to give you some support when you're sitting in a space, and they give a nice pop of color behind your lower pillows. With pillows, there are typically two types of pillows. There is a polyfiber fill pillow, and there's a down pillow. Now, my favorite out of the two is the down. The reason why is I call a down pillow a sitting pillow. And why? Because as you'll notice, this is a down pillow. They sit. They sit in their space. They cozy in and they kind of just mold into what's around them. With a polyfiber pillow, they are a standing pillow, which means that they're not as easily manipulated. You can take them, throw them in your space, they tend to just sit wherever you place them. They don't retain a shape, and as you use them, they will get cozy, comfortable, and a little more manipulatable. However, with the down pillow, the thing that people love to do is you sit on it, use it, pick it up, pop it, set it, and there you go. Kind of gives it a little more formal yet comfortable accent. Um, the polyfiber is an easy washable pillow. You can throw them in a washer, hang them to dry. With the down pillows, if you have allergies, I recommend you do an, alternate, an allergy alternative. And the great thing about them is, again, you just take out the insert and wash your cover. So they are a very nice pillow to have. With pillows, one of the questions I get asked most often from customers coming into the store is, oh my gosh, I have these beautiful pillows. They have a lot of pattern. How do I layer with pattern and pillows? So two rules, very simple and easy to use. When you're using pattern in pillows, you want to take your large scale pattern, which in this case is this large pillow. With the large scale pattern, it usually sits in the back. You always want to pull in one solid color. And the reason for that is that gives your eye something kind and gentle to move over. And it coexists with the pattern in the pillow. Now, bringing in a third pattern, you want a smaller scale pattern. This stripe is beautiful because it's smaller than the pattern through the ECOT and it pulls gently and softly with this pattern. Again, as you notice over here, we have more pattern with these pillows. What you're going to do is we simply, your large scale pattern goes in the back. You want to throw in a nice complementary solid and you want to end with a smaller scale pattern that just kind of gives it that little added hint of elegance. So when working with pillows, you need to choose the appropriate size. We like to start with the larger, going down to a smaller. And depending on how formal or informal your space is, that's where you decide if you'd like a polyfiber fill pillow or a down pillow. But as you can see, pillows take a space that is lackluster and just gives it a little oomph and joy. Please don't overlook pillows when you're decorating. They're a great asset to have and they're very easy to intermingle, inexpensive. They provide color and pattern, texture to your space, and they give you the opportunity to add personality to your home. So come check out our pillows at the Valley Home Store. We're on Highway 8991 and we have just a beautiful assortment for you to look at. <music>